and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. ECOAS pushes launch of single currency to 2027. Mr. Jean-Claude Brew, President of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOAS, Commission, has said that the community has resumed convergence to launch of the ECOAS single currency, ECO, in 2027. Brew made this known on Tuesday while delivering reports of the ECOAS Commission before the ECOAS Parliament during the ongoing 2022 first ordinary session of the Parliament in Abuja. Brew said that the process of launching the single currency was stalled following the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, as countries needed to focus on handling the pandemic. He explained that the convergence criteria had to be thorough so that the currency once implemented will serve the citizens effectively. We had to suspend that in 2022, 2021. We are looking at 2022 to 2026 to be able to create conditions that will enable us to stabilize the economies. And so, 2027 we go back to the currency. The process of the performance criteria is always prioritized if we want to be in a very favorable condition to introduce a single currency. Because you can introduce the currency but what is required is that it should be of quality. In other words, it should serve the needs of the population and also should inspire confidence and trust in in the population. So that is the main objective, to ensure that the convergence criteria is being followed, Rue said. Representative Awaji Abiante, member of the ECOAS parliament and Nigerian lawmaker representing Andonia Pobi, Nkoro Federal Constituency of Rivers, said that the delay in the launch of the currency is to avoid any form of crisis. Speaking to journalists on the sideline of the session, Abiante said that the single currency is work in progress and there is hope that sometimes it will work. Every good thing comes with its challenges so getting the economies of the 15 member states to agree on that transaction and how it can be moved forward. If it is hurried, definitely it could run into crisis so it is good to have every aspect of it discussed, agreement reached, such that it will be implementable, Abiante said. On the sustainability and benefits of the currency, Abiante said that until it is implemented, one cannot say how viable it would be. Whatever anybody says, it is just going to be mere projections, it is only when it is implemented that you will see the benefits. But simply put, it will ease transactions, it will open up the economies, it will make it freer for people to engage in both commercial and industrial activities, he said. The ECO is supposed to boost economic development in the West African region and improve cross-border trade. Twenty years ago, in the capital city of Ghana, Accra, six leaders from the West African states declared their intentions of proceeding towards a monetary union among the non-CFA franc countries in the region. As a first step, the monetary union was to spread towards all states in the ECOAS region by 2004. The union was and is still intended to reduce central bank financing of budget deficits to 10%. A strong declaration from the member states was that, a strong political commitment such as national policies would facilitate the regional monetary integration process. The ECO is the proposed name for the single or common currency that the West African Monetary Zone WAMZ, plans to introduce in the framework of the ECOAS. The single currency will further be adopted by both WAMZ and West African Economic and Monetary Union UEMOA, across the ECOAS states. Under the proposed common currency, the ECO will remain pegged to the euro. Although the African states will not keep half of their reserves in the French Treasury and a French representative will no longer be needed when it comes to the currency union's board, one has to consider the changes for states that are former French colonies, with the exception of Guinea-Bissau, but who are also part of UEMOA. For the UEMOA countries, introducing and adopting the ECO would also mean the end of the CFA franc. The changes imply the modification of several CFA franc-linked financial agreements that countries in UEMOA have in place with France. The Benefits Advocates of the single currency believe that the existence of different exchange rate regimes in the region impedes trade. This is due to high transaction costs particularly from fees in currency conversion and hedging costs to cover exchange rate risk. 
It is also worth noting the challenges in the implementation process. With the African Continental Free Trade Area AFC FTA, agreement set to eliminate tariffs on goods and services, the adoption of a single currency, if successful, will facilitate trade, lower transaction costs and facilitate payments among ECOWAS countries. If implemented, countries across the region will be able to move and spend money across different countries without any concerns about exchange rate costs. To begin with, exchange rates in the region are relatively volatile. A case for a monetary union or integration will help address the issue of multiple currencies and exchange rate fluctuations that affect intra-regional trade, thus strengthening the need for the adoption of a single currency. Furthermore, should the single currency be properly implemented, it is assumed to have a huge potential that allows each country to specialize in production. This will further allow a smooth exchange of goods between the member states to be produced more efficiently and allowing for lower transactional costs. It is also very important to recognize that economic gains from a common currency are not mutually exclusive to infrastructure developments, more especially that one of the sought-after benefits from the eco is intra-regional trade. Despite these possible benefits, proponents of the integration remain worried about the lack of integration policies among member countries in the region. It is generally assumed that having a single currency is more likely to work if all countries are economically aligned as to avoid future economic segregation which has been seen in the case of the European Union. The withdrawal of the United Kingdom from the European Union EU, was largely been driven by a need of independence in terms of trade, agriculture, tariffs, immigration and amongst other things. The same concerns can be said about Nigeria, as being the largest economy in the region who can potentially dominate monetary policy and stall the benefits that are projected from this union. Some might argue that economic alignment might not necessarily be a prerequisite for the adoption of a single currency, as in the case of the EU where you can find that some countries have received support from Germany and France, which is a clear case of some countries being contributors and beneficiaries in the union. The same argument or concerns can thus be extended in analyzing countries who can potentially be contributors and beneficiaries in the ECOWAS region. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.